there were material standards that PG&E had for um, uh, Consolidated Western, the company that was manufacturing the pipe that they purchased, and these sections, some of them do not meet those minimum standards. They're not consistent with what we're seeing in other sections of the pipe and not up to the standards that PG&E had specified for their pipe. We had a lot of trouble getting documentation about this section of pipe and these pups. And as you know, PG&E, in their information system, represented this section of pipe as a seamless 30-inch pipe. We know that they didn't manufacture seamless 30-inch pipe in 1956, and they don't now either.